Morning chillins, painters and decorators of the interweb. It's Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator, back with you with a riveting, a very riveting video on how to spray bedroom furniture. Da, da, da. Yeah, we're back with this one. We've got a three door wardrobe. If I spin you around here, I've got a chest of drawers, just a side, next to a bed, chest of drawers. Below, another chest of drawers there, set of drawers, nothing major. Wardrobes, I'm gonna use, look at this. Zinsor Oil Coat Exterior, sprays lovely. I've got an airless sprayer, I'm using me GXFF airless sprayer. Dead easy one to do this. This is a little bit of a side earner. How much do you think this is gonna cost? We'll talk about money at the end. But joking apart, got some bedroom furniture to spray up. I'm using Zinsor Oil Coat Exterior. I've prepared all these um, tops. You can just see them on there. They were wood. I've just taped them all up and um, give a light key to the bedroom unit. Now there's new carpet going down so I've put some little wood blocks to lift it off the carpet. You see that? I've got my GX FF just there. Oh, you can just see it, I'll come back to that in a minute. And what, what my plan is, before this room actually gets decorated, um, I've come in just to spray these bedroom units. What we're gonna do, going to make it dead simple. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do using a GXFF gold Tritec 210 spray tip on a Tritec gun. And I know I've got a, a Greco sprayer, but I like this gun. I like this spray tip. Not thin the paint. It's going to go straight out. Roughly off the units, it's about 1200 PSI. I've got no tails. I've done a test sample um, piece on the wall. I've had a piece of lining paper up. I'll show you that in a minute. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to spray it. We're going to give a nice coat. It's going to cover nicely for one. Um, got the heater. Could give it another coat. Jobs are good and dead easy. And then we'll talk about what it's cost. So let me just give you a pan round of what we're doing. I'll take you off the camera stand, show you what I've got, show the paint in the pot and away we go. Right, there's my unit. I've already got the paint in it. We've not thinned it. It's going straight, airless. We can do that. We don't need to put any water to it. Let's see if we can just get down to the... You can see what I'm spraying at. Oh, there you go. It's about 1,000 PSI, which is great. I've just tested it out with that spray tip. See, I've got a bit of a test panel on the wall. I'll put a piece of lining paper on. I've got no actual fingers, tails, whatever you want on the spray fan pattern. It's a nice even coat. So a thousand PSI is, is cracking. Now there's the units, top and bottom. I've stacked them on top of each other. And there's the big uh, pan back. There's the big one there. So we're all, all right with that. It's just dead easy spraying it. So I'll put you on the stand. I'll do a bit of spraying. You'll probably see me likes comments everything the usual but this is a this is a video for all those that want to do a bit of furniture spraying get into the furniture spraying very lucrative I'm going to show you what I'm going to do so I'll start with this one I don't know whether I can get you all in on the camera now I'll start with this one I'll do the side work my way through to the front and all I'm doing is literally Making sure you've got your 50-50 overlap. Don't want to be too far away, do you? 12 inches fan pattern will give me a 210 will give me a four inch fan pattern. I could do a 310, but I'm quite happy with the 210. I'm all right with that. You'll see me on the side. I'll work my way around and hopefully in real time, we've done in a minute or so. How much should I be charging per minute? So yeah. My gun's ready to go, I've got my mask, always have your mask on, and let's see what we can do.
just opened the window, took my mask off when there's still a bit of dust in the air. Could you see I had a couple of blockages on my tip? So what I did, rotated the tip from the spray position to the um, whatever you call it, unblocking. I've got a spare empty bucket here just to put any slops in so it's just squirting into there. Now that's just one coat up and down. Make sure you've got a nice 50 50 overlap. Put in enough paint on. Um, ooh, no, it's a bit red. Put enough paint on, it's covered lovely. Now, you saw me on my final strokes, I just went across the top and where we've got a bit of a moulding on the end of the doors at the bottom. That was just to catch that underside because obviously going up and down I probably might have missed it. So a quick waft round there and then round that side. So can you see what I've done? How long has it taken? A few minutes? I'm going to do these others now, I'm going to stop the video, let you have a think about what we should be charging for this. We'll come back in a minute. Jobs are good. So we're just looking at the unit, lovely bit of kit, if anybody's on about getting a sprayer to start off with, this can do your ceilings, can do your bit of woodwork. Now, I did just crank it up a little bit, I thought we needed a bit more, and what are we, just over a thousand psi which is nice spraying. You don't get loads of overspray. It's controlled and it's um, low pressure spraying and that's what you want. So yeah, I'll come back to you in a bit about discussing um, money. Minutes, it's been minutes if that since I've seen you. What have I done? I've done that one there. I've done that one below. Dead easy, dead easy. This is just, put my, mask up, put my mask up there. That's my mask I've had 30, 31 years this year or about 30 years. Right, let's just show you what I've done, get a close up. Now, when you're spraying, you want it wet enough, you want wet edges, don't you, and all like that. Get a little bit of a, a pimple coming so it can flow out. If it's too thick, it'll dry quickly and you'll have a texture to it. But if you get it nice and wet, and that's why sometimes paint's a bit too thick and you have to thin it down. See a little bit of a texture to that, that'll dry out lovely. Now this is just one coat, I'm not going to bore you with a second coat, I'm not going to bore you for 20 minutes, let's try and do 10 minutes. But this is a three piece bedroom furniture set that I've sprayed in minutes with all coat exterior and all I've done is remove the handles, give it a lighter braid with one of those Merca gold flex pieces of sandpaper that I've shown you before. What grades this? A 150. Dusted it off. Carpet's going, so I'm not worried about overspray on the carpet. I put some little pieces of wood to lift it off the carpet, as you can see there. Yeah, as you can see there. And I sprayed it. Phil, how much are you charging for this? You have a think. Put your comments before I actually tell you. But three units, I've got my GXFF there, two and a half litres of Zinsor Oil Coat, if that. What have you used? Litre. What's this? How much is one of these? 50 quid a tin. I don't know as much as that, might be 40 quid, 50 quid a tin. Good stuff. Not so much on UPVC if you've seen my last video, but hey ho. Um, but yeah, I've used this plenty of times on um, wood, trim, woodwork, whatever you want to call it. I know it works. It's got that um, flexibility with it being an outside paint, so it's good on the inside stuff. It's got the bio sides and whatever. You can read the spec sheet if you want, but no, good stuff. So I've just sprayed bedroom units with this. How much am I charging? How much do you think you'd be charging? You thought about it? If you said 150, 150, won't be far wrong. 150, what would you be charging? I've got all my kit. 150 including paint. 150 plus paint. How do you want to do it? It's up to you. But cash in hand, 150. Are we on a good one with that? I think we are. Let's call it day. Let's wrap it up. So if you want to do spraying bedroom furniture, there's a bit of a sideline, a bit of a cash job, a bit of a day job. Doesn't matter, does it? But would you be charging 150 to do these three pieces a unit? Would you be charging a bit less? It's up to you, doesn't matter. Could be 250. 
how much would it be to buy new units that are this colour? What were they before? Uh, magnolia, gardenia colour, not very nice. Customer wanted them white because they're having the bedroom done over the next week. Woodwork's going to be white, wanted the bedroom furniture white as well. I come in and say 150. Jobs are good. Thank you very much. Over and out. Likes, comments, the lot. Speech on the next one. <laughs>